to the Paper Snob. This is Tara. Today I am working on 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life series number 14. It is day number 19 and this sketch was created by Ruth Lewenden. I will have her Instagram account listed for you below. Thankfully she put it on her sketch so I have access to finding it easily. And I hope that you will check out her Instagram account and leave her some love. She most certainly deserves it for this gorgeous sketch that we're going to be playing with today. So I'm going to be spreading this sketch out into a two-page layout because I have six photos, two of which I don't want to cut down anymore. And then these four I can actually cut down into the smaller four squares that she has on this page so those are my photos and I have picked up it's a new day collection by hip kit um, there's a lot of product in these kits they're absolutely amazing and this kit I have been trying to get used up so I'm gonna go ahead and try to use a little bit more of it here I am unsure how we're going to spread this out, but we're going to work on that next. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. I'm going to make some decisions about these papers and embellishments, and I'll be right back. All right, I sorted through the patterned papers, and I pulled out some cardstock that is also from Hip Kit. I don't think it belonged with this collection, but it matched well enough that I decided to go ahead and use it. So I'm gonna set up my pattern paper a little bit differently than she had on her sketch. Since I'm doing a two page layout, I wanted to keep continuity between the two pages. So I took the stripe paper and I cut it into a four inch strip and an eight inch strip. The polka dot ombre paper is five and seven inches. And I'm just using those to kind of spread across the two page layout. The left hand side will end up looking very much like the sketch. The right hand side is just gonna have the two photos and some embellishments. So I knew when I started digging through these embellishments from this kit that I wanted to grab these frames and put them on my three by three inch photos. Now they are not as large as my photos, but luckily my daughter is pretty small in all three photos and I'm able to take the photos and just kind of turn them a little bit wonky so that they fit well, um, or the frames wonky so that they fit well on those photos. The frame or the photo with her that where she's a lot larger in it when she's looking in her basket, I did not turn the frame wonky, but I, still I'm not worried that it doesn't cover the whole photo. On the second page, you also saw me stick a little frame on the photo and that photo is highly highlighting an egg that Emily does not see, which I thought was really hilarious. I also stuck one of the little owl chipboard pieces up there because it's just cute. And then I bring that across and I'm sticking an owl on the frame that is gonna hold part of my title. Now, my title is mixed font. It is a large title, but not necessarily a large font. I decided to use fun, let the good times roll. And then I'm gonna use some of the alpha letters from this collection to say family egg hunt or something like that underneath. And that gives me that large title that Ruth put on the sketch. I'm really happy with the way this left hand page has um, come together. It came together pretty quickly. And now I am digging for some more embellishments. I know that I want to get some embellishments on this layout, but not too many because my colors are bright and I don't want to overwhelm those photos because I want my photos to tell the story. Now, I did not ref put this reflection in this layout, but as I was doing this layout, I realized that this was probably the very last Easter egg hunt that my two youngest children ever did. 
I think the next year, both of them were like, eh. I know Emily actually dyed eggs, but I don't think we hid them. I just think we dyed them and then we turned them into deviled eggs, which has always been our family tradition for Easter is turning all of those boiled and dyed eggs into yummy, yummy, yummy deviled eggs. It's everybody's favorite, of course, around here. So I got the rest of my title onto that left hand side and now I'm just looking for embellishments to put on the right hand side. I added a phrase and I decided I was going to use these labels for journaling and real cool thing it says memories captured or memories recorded on the first two and then I used the ampersand from the chipboard sheet and then the last label says captured so it says memories recorded and captured and I thought that was really cool because I was looking at that colorful ampersand and I was like I don't know how I'm going to use that and then it just came to me that it worked really well with those labels kind of making a secondary title right where I'm going to be putting my journaling. So I'm looking around for a couple of more little phrases and bits and pieces um, right now I'm adding the date with the small letters down underneath that last label. So next I'll be pulling out the die cuts from this collection to see if I can come up with a little bit more embellishments. I'm adding an LOL phrase there. The other phrase on that frame says seriously because she she did not see that egg as you can see in the bottom photo Seth is the one who actually found the egg and I just thought it was so funny that it was right there in the photo the other funny memory that I have which is about me and not her is when I was really little we had an egg hunt at my grandma and grandpa's house and whoever hid the eggs hid one near the front porch in the tulips and my grandpa was standing overlooking the rail, which was over the tulips, and he's pointing. And there's a photo of me standing near him, and you can see his hand pointing down at the, tu at the egg and the tulips. And I did eventually find it, but I just thought it was funny when I saw that photo, because I remember the egg hunt, and I remember them teasing me about it being right underneath my nose the whole time. Anyway, I am digging through the ephemera bits and pieces. Now, this is a back-to-school collection. It is not an Easter collection. And so a lot of the ephemera have more to do with fall, school, new beginnings type activities rather than um, Easter, of course. But, you know, I thought Let the Good Times Roll was a good title because... The O's and those words kind of look like Easter eggs to me, and I thought that was perfect. So I am just going to pull out a few of the floral bits and pieces. I'm moving my camera so that you can see better because I was aware that you couldn't see all the way to the right-hand side of the layout. I really hate that about the way my recording system is set up for now. Sometime I would like to get a better system, but that time is not now. Anyway, I'm just adding a few of the floral bits, and then I add some of the leafy bits. I put a leafy bit behind each owl. I don't end up using the bird that I set over there on the side. I thought I might, and I didn't, but I thought I sat it there just to see how it would look. Um, I like the flowers with a camera in the phrase instead, but I think I moved that phrase off camera. We'll have to wait and see if I actually did. I add a couple of flowers by the ampersand, and that's it. All right, I got this layout done. I really hope that you can see where I took... Um, a lot of inspiration from her sketch. I tried to stay fairly true to her sketch on the left hand side with my large title and my four photos and embellishment clusters which um, I didn't put a whole lot into because the papers are bright and I want to make sure we're still focused on our photos and the story. On the second page of course it is 
kind of my own thing. And I love that I was able to say memories recorded and captured with those journaling labels. That makes me super happy. And again, I kept my clusters fairly small on this page as well. I want to thank you so much for coming to my channel today. I really appreciate everything that you guys do for me without my viewers, my subscribers. This channel doesn't have any traction and I am grateful to each and every one of you that take the time to like, comment, and or subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you subscribe. I do interact with my subscribers in the comments below, so if you have any comments or questions about what I have done with this layout, just drop them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I know that this is kind of hard to see here, so I will definitely be making sure that there are detail shots and close-ups of both pages here at the end of the video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.